Right now, I am going to show you how to use the Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro. There are two versions of this machine. There is the corded version and the cordless version. The only difference as far as functionality and how they work is going to be the power source. Everything else will be the same. So going over the machine, let's start here at the top. You've got the power buttons. You can do hard floor or area rug. On the front of the machine at the bottom, you have the dirty water reservoir. There's a purple button that you press, and then the reservoir comes out very easily. I will show you how to clean that at the end after we use the machine. On the back here, you have the water reservoir. We'll fill that up here in a second. Then here we have two different bristles. They are exactly the same. You just have an extra bristle, so you can be cleaning one, and one can be used and dirty while you have a fresh one always ready to go. You have a measuring cup here to help you fill up with your different solutions, floor cleaners. And then you have the head of the machine. So the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and get the machine ready, and then we will clean up some messes with it and get it to work. So first, let's go ahead and remove this head component so that we can get the brush in. So if you look at the top of the machine, it's got a pool area. It says pool. All you do is simply pull and the head comes off here. Now we'll set that in place here and we will get our brush in. So we will pull one of our brushes out. If you notice here on the front of the brush, it has a cross or a plus sign. And then here inside the machine, you have your matching component that has that same design and that's where the agitator will plug into. So taking care to match it up and line it up, you simply slide the bristle head in place. On this side, we will then lock it into place, rotating the plastic piece up with the Bissell logo. You can then press down and then the agitator or the brush is in place. Now we can simply put the head back on. There are two little grooves with hooks that you slide into place, lining everything up, and then we simply snap it back into place. Now we are ready to fill up the water reservoir and clean up a spill. Filling up the water reservoir is very easy. There are two different lines on the bottle to indicate the fill lines. You simply unscrew the top, fill it up with water, add your cleaning solution, then you are ready to attach it back to the machine and get to work. Now that everything is set, let's go ahead and make a little mess and clean it up so you can remove the Bissell from its platform. Again, this is just a platform that you can set in the closet, wherever you're storing the machine, and it's just a nice place to keep everything organized. So getting that out of the way here, we'll go ahead and plug in the machine, and then we can start working. I do have some orange juice that we are going to use today. This is a great machine. It is used for wet or dry messes. So depending on whatever you spill, you'll be able to clean it up with this. So accidentally spilled some juice there and we've got a mess. Now let's go ahead and clean that mess up. For this, I am going to be using the hard floor setting. There is the trigger on the back of the machine here on the handle. That's what dispenses the cleaning solution and water onto our brush head, but the first thing that I want to do is suck up the water, then I will dispense the water and start actually cleaning the floor. So first thing here, we get in place here, push the button. Now that I've vacuumed up the spill, now I am actually going to start using the water and pulling the trigger here to actually clean that up, right? Because it's still gonna be sticky and a mess because of the juice. So turning it back on.
And that's it as far as how to use the machine. It is very simple. It's got the two different functions here. So you could do that same thing over an area rug if there was a spill or if it's dirty. Now, if you notice, the lights turn on when you're actually pulling the trigger to dispense the water. And keep in mind that the water doesn't actually squirt onto the floor. It squirts onto that bristle head to create a wet environment so it can soak up, uh, clean up the mess, whatever is spilled here. So now that we've cleaned up a mess, let's go ahead and empty out the reservoir and I will show you how to do that. So going over the reservoir, you have a filter here. It does have some simple directions here on what the pieces are. So you've got your filter. It's the white piece here with the black gasket. Then you also have a plastic piece inside, which is another filter that catches all of the big chunks and debris. So the first thing we do is just pull out the filter here, and it's got a door and a hinge that opens up. So anything that was caught in there, you can then remove and clean out. Then the plastic piece here pulls out from inside the machine, and you can just set that aside. Then here, you have a plastic gray piece that pulls out any big chunks would have been caught in here and then of course all of your dirty water will be in the reservoir that you can simply just dump down the sink or the toilet wherever you are cleaning this. So here we would just rinse out all of the pieces and then put everything back together and that is how you will clean the machine. Then again you can go over your filter depending on what you cleaned up. You can scrub out any pieces that would have been caught in there then simply put it all back together. And then once you are done cleaning out the reservoir, you can then remove the brush head to clean it as well. Repeat the steps from earlier to remove the agitator or brush head. You can then rinse it out and then stick it in the platform to dry and store your machine. So there you go. That is how to use the Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro. I've got other videos on other Bissell products that you might like. Please feel free to check those out. If you also like DIY around the house stuff, please feel free to like and subscribe. Again, my name is Drew. I'll see you in the next one.